Hey everyone, John from Red Viking Hobbies. This is the Arma Typhon Grom. It's a little uh, 1 18th scale is what they're calling it. 1 18th scale uh, buggy. Um, they give us our little don't just bash blast on the bottom there. And uh, I ran into a little bit of trouble. So let's take a look at that. That's weird. So that was just going into the grass. This thing decides to, to die on me. All right, let's, let's see. That is something else. Look at that. Sure that's spinning up. Hmm. So I think the pinion's loose on there, and I think it's grabbing because we got very little resistance here. You now what's happening when I'm, I'm giving it just a little bit of work to do here, all of a sudden now, that's it. I can't hear anything wrong with the diffs or anything like that. Um, I'm on the gas, off the gas, there we go. And it gauges again. Can't be the heat. That is really weird. I did question why they put a 380 motor in here. Battery's fully charged. And now we can see it's slower than it was when I first took it out but we haven't been running for more than 10 minutes and now it's dogging it look at this it's full power yeah hey you know what though i don't hear it spinning either all right let's check this thing out Checking all my connections. All right, over the rocks, we're good.
Over the rocks, we're good. The street, we're good. And the grass. all power. And it comes back on. I'm trying to give you a shot in there in that little 380. You see it spinning. This is what I was afraid of. I legitimately said to myself, why would they put a 380 brushed in this vehicle? Felt the weight of the vehicle, thought it was a little bit heavy for a brushed 380. Um, and remember, it's, it's, uh, it's a four by four. So I don't know, I have to take it on the bench, take it apart, see what's going on. Okay, so my experience with the Grom was not the best, but my experience with Horizon when it came to them helping me out was. So basically, they are sending me a new ESC and motor. I suspect that the motor just burnt out. I just think it was a bad motor. So let's get into the details of the car. The uh, car is a 118 scale, but I will show you a picture of the 114th 116 scale from uh, WL Toys and from Rularlo, so you can see about how close they are. It's only a little bit smaller. It's only a little bit lighter than they are. Um, it does about 20 miles an hour at tops, and then it has these um, little adapters, so you can change the pinion and get a little higher speed, up to about 25. So I ordered up those adapters, and I ordered up the um, pinion for it. Um, but what you basically get for your money is you get this cool-looking Typhon Grom by Arma. It comes with a 1400 milliamp 2S LiPo battery, which is a 30C continuous discharge, which is about a 60C dump. It is an IC2 connector. Pictures are coming up as always as I'm speaking. Uh, you could take a look at the ESC. That is the Spectrum SPM XSE 2625RX. But you already knew that, right? SCT. Uh, it's a 2S LiPo uh, ESC that's on there. And then uh, you have plastic shocks that are there. And what else do we need to say? That there is a little heat sink that's over the 380 brushed motor. Do I wish they had gone with a larger motor? Yes. Is there a lot of space for a larger motor? No. Um, the price point is, I think, around $139.99. For this guy, it is a clipless body system, which I'm sure I am showing you pictures of. The bodies look pretty slick. It comes with uh, two tools. This one I needed straight away, as you could see from the video, because the car stopped running. And then it comes with an, another little Allen key. SL2 remote. My remote had some bad luck, had a piece of plastic stuck inside that I had to fish out with a screwdriver, but it takes four double A's which are supplied inside of the box. So it is ready to run. And then there are the shock spacers so you can change how the car actually feels depending on where you run it. Oh, had to cut in somewhere. So USB-C, USB-C cord to the charger and then the IC2 connection to the IC uh, to battery. Don't think I mentioned that there is a manual that's in there that has everything, but this manual right here uh, is where things are interesting because when you open the manual, you immediately get the little uh, adapter plate description that tells you what adapter plate you would need to run for the spur gear that's in there in the pinion. So for instance, on this one, it's in 1859. Please don't quote me. I think that's what it is. But it says it right on the plate, so I'm putting up the picture so that you could see it. 
And one of the reasons why uh, we are inside is, and the, this footage actually was already done ahead with the pictures that you could see, is I had to take this piece off. Those adapters are really important because instead of making the mesh yourself, the mesh comes set from those little plates. You take that adapter plate, you put your pinion on, and then when you go and you stick the motor down, the only thing that's holding it down is the actual, what you would think is the, um, or most people would think is the protection for the drivetrain that you have between the, the two diffs but it's not it's actually that piece is actually holding the motor in when you go and you remove this the motor just comes right out uh so it, the uh esc that i had mentioned earlier is a combo esc so when i go brushless that'll be a change that i have to make i'll have to do the um, receiver and esc separate and then the motor and i'm not really trying to get anywhere above about 35 miles an hour, 35 miles an hour. I'd be very happy with this buggy. And I think that I'll go with the uh, oil filled shocks on it and I'll probably swap out the tires. That's it. That's the Arma Granite Grom. I'm sorry I don't have much more to show you. I am waiting for the motor and ESC to show up so I could just run the regular brushed version of this 380. Uh, however, I already did order a brushless uh, system for it to swap it over. So we'll see how that works out. This is John from Red Viking Hobbies. I hope I see you out there.